Hello there and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will learn how to access contacts from our local contacts. So basically our address book. So these are the contacts uh, which come in the simulator. So we are displaying it in a simple table view uh, with, uh, which has subtitle and it shows contact number. So let's get started. First of all, uh, we just need a table view inside storyboards. So I will just view it as iPhone X and drag and drop a table view and just add some constraints. So zero from top, zero from left, zero from right and zero from bottom and get an outlet so we don't have to come back. So <clears throat> control drag and say table view and hit enter. Now we need to create a structure so that we can store our data. So right click here and say new file and we will say swift file and it will be of type contact. Contact struct. Uh, don't say contact because uh, module name is contact so it might like interfere or something. So here standard editor mode and I will say struct and I will say contact contact struct and open parentheses and we we'll first we'll say given name type of string family name string type and Let's do again, let number. Okay, uh, if you recall in your address book, we can store like multiple numbers under one name, but uh, for this tutorial, we will be fetching only first number, okay? So let's get started with our contact thing. So first under a view controller, we need to import contact, import contacts, and we need to create a variable, which is, we actually need two variables so first is <coughs> store uh, let's say it's a contact store which is equal to c c n contact store open close parentheses and we need a variable to store our data so contacts equal to it will be of type contact Oh, we need to uh, save this contract suck. so command s over here and go back and we will say contact store contact struct and open close parentheses okay so i guess it's working command b it's working so under view to load uh, if you remember uh, from your past experiences whenever application needs to access your contacts it will ask for your permission so we need to take that permission as well so let's do that first contact store dot request access for entity just press dot and you will see contacts that and hit enter here we will say success and error if success just print authorization successful okay and let's run the application and see how it works so I will select iPhone X and I'm building my application. This is my simulator. This is my previous app. Don't mind. So, okay, it's giving us some error. Okay, uh, this error says this app has crashed because it attempted to access privacy sensitive data without a user description. The app's info.plist must contain an NS contact user description, okay? So let's do that thing, stop the application. Go, uh, go to your info.plist and over here or anywhere you can just say add and start typing with capital P, privacy, and you will see bunch of options. The one we need is contacts usage description. And over here for string, uh, let's say, let me use contacts and exclamation marks and hit enter. And let's run the application once again. And this time it should work. 
so it's working and hit ok so we gave the permission and it will not ask for the permission again so let's fetch our contacts so we will say fetch contacts we need to create a function for that so we will say fetch contacts open close and here we will say uh, I'll, I'll add some spaces so let's say contact store dot enumerate contacts so this is where we get our contacts as you uh, as you can notice that we need a fetch request so let's create that let request equal to cn contact fetch request and open op open parenthesis and we need this one keys to fetch here as you can see again we need cn key descriptor so basically uh, this key descriptor is says that what all stuff uh, will we be getting from the enumeration okay so key equal to it will be of array and we will cast it to cn cn key descriptor and this array will be of uh, will be populated by key so if you recall we need given name family name and numbers so i will say cn and given cn contact given name key now we need cn contact family name key and we need cn contact phone number key okay make sure you do this now here we will just substitute stuff so key in this we will say request and for using block first one will be contact and another is stopping pointer so which basically says that when we wish to stop the enumeration so we won't be using that but still so we have the data over here so let's start populating it so let name equal to contact so okay it would be contact dot given name now let's create family name family name equal to contact dot family name and now we need a number so number equal to contact dot phone numbers dot first dot value dot string value okay and now we will create okay what is this saying okay this throws error this is what it means to say so right now i know that we have context so i will explicitly unwrap this part uh, but if you are creating professional application make sure you do perform this operation under to uh, do and catch block so let contact to append equal to contact struct open parenthesis and we uh, get the initializer here we will just substitute name family name and number okay and we will just append this to our array which is contacts and here I will say contacts dot append and we will say contact to append okay this is saying it's an error type let's try to build the application okay we need explicitly and build the application okay we need self let's build the application okay it's working so after all this uh, after the for loop just say table view dot reload data okay so we will call this function over here after this request so we will say fetch contacts and we will perform uh, okay let's do one thing after contacts are fetched we will just print out our array so which is print contact store dot first oh or we need contacts dot first dot uh, let's say given given name okay let's run the application and see if it works so we should get the first uh, name of the first so here is Kate uh, name of the first contact so it's working so let's start creating a table view and we have the table view we need two protocols which is table view 
delegate and UI table view data source table view data source and we will assign delegate and data source to our table view so table view dot delegate is equal to self and table view dot data source is equal to self as well and we need two main functions okay this uh, we will do it after view did load so number of sections and here we will return count of our contacts so contacts dot count and now we need cell so cell for row at index path so let's cell equal to ui table view cell open and we need style so this will be detail uh, no we need subtitle subtitle come on suggest me sub oh what's the matter dot okay subtitle and a reusable identifier is now and we will say cell dot text label dot text is equal to and here here we will combine uh, first name and given name so we will say contacts uh, let's do one thing we need let con tag to display equal to contacts open close and index path dot row so that we can use it multiple times so this would be contact to display dot given name plus some space and now we will say plus contact to display dot family name now for detail detail text label dot text equal to contact to display dot phone number which is number and we will return this cell okay so i guess uh, we are done with the coding part let's run the application one last time and see if it works or not okay type ui view controller does not conform to protocol okay we did the part i guess now oh this is number of sections we need number of rows so number of rows in section and return contacts dot count and let's run the application for one last time <clears throat> okay so we can see uh, fetched contacts so if you try to run this application on your phone you will see uh, contacts from your own contacts address book so if you have any questions post them in comments if you like my video thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future videos